Oh, look. Most days I arise, slightly surprised. The maker still has his eyes on the sparrow. I was raised in a field of lies and homicides, where it's hard to walk the straight and narrow. Though a tad paralyzed by my gifts, my spirit prayed and amplified what I felt in my marrow. As a lad, I had ties to the crisp, but said goodbye. When my eyes saw departed seas were the pharaoh. A double entendre to ponder. To move the way I move, you need vision, that's word to wonder. I step in every room with dominion, no need to conquer. I always been a beast, but recently met a monster. In human form, the truest form of the Loch Ness mixed with unicorn in a human race uniform. And it's crazy, cause all I really knew him for was being a human torch who lit the way for most peculiar form of production. So imagine how dumbstruck I was during discussions with Jeff about shows on the come up with our cousins when he relayed the one who made come close and funny invited us to something. The festival he does is called something. Virginia's own invited us to something. Never thought he'd bring the swat to something. Oh, but not only the festival, also Miami. He took a day, went out his way to meet me and my family. But hell, I never thought he wanted to meet the kids. So we said babysitters up, and I just broke my rib. It's unfortunate, not that I just brought fat, but the fact my baby's forced to get this experience recorded when they could have been up in the fold with us. Were to contortion is gorgeous moments like this is enormous when we're afforded them. Maybe next time, before I dabbed them up, hit that sanitizer with fresh lime. We said hellos, went to and fro about being unvexed by the knots the globe can throw around your throat just like a necktie. When it comes to being live as hell, on a regular, he asked me about my seeds, felt the need to pull out my cellular. Didn't think it was OD to show Peter a little mini spectacle. We had for Ivory at her somewhat poppy theme festival to celebrate her third birthday. Soon after chatting about family, parents, and rapping, surviving Anglo Saxon assassins while being black and mastering the crap that we chose to gain traction to get us out the trap that led to us impacting a fraction of. Skateboard Pete did the unthinkable. Set by his CPU to prove he's inextinguishable. We're not to prove, but he peruse the roots of ventricle sounds that just leaps and bounds above anything most producers do. He started with the chords. And then brought in the hi hat. The kicks and bass provided more. Yeah. The 808s is just what I lacked. Ooh, imagine me, little Tobe Chukudu Bim, with every ounce of Aka and Uteru in his skin, who grew up in the swat where you might get shot if you flinch, to watch his skateboard P faithfully live up to the myths created by them. He integrated and made it sounds that could only be equated to the greatest display of production I had seen. Just my luck, I eyed my queen. Thought she would be dumbstruck, but she was fastly tucked asleep with her arms folded. Disrespect in the moment. Most days she'd be devoted, but her body currently holding my fourth child. We all bore smiles and laughed. First time eating Pharrell and fed up in here taking naps while I thought her reps. She woke up and giggled all apologetic. He said, no, you cool, you do you. Kept it copacetic. Later by the pool, he dropped jewels talking to my brethren about how we should move. We commune and I took home lessons to the squad and bid au revoir to past ways. Never thought this moment could happen before the last days. You might could have told me I wouldn't that I'd amass fame from visuals of midday cascade, but look like a flat gray when the saturation on your screen is past eight. But I probably would have said, but that little Zaza in your ass tray, you high as hell. Yeah, but life would have proved me wrong. Congratulations, P.